We've got Bernie. Jockey Club name won't burn. Right, Bernie? And we've got Frosty Martini. <laughs> Frosty. This is how we practice going out when we have baby racehorses and it's cold and windy. So we do lots of stopping and backing. Nope, back up. It's hard with two horses in filming. Good boys. So then I want them to stay behind me. Oh, oh, very nice boys. Good boys. Well done. Well done. Good job, Burns. Good boy, Frost. Just gonna keep going like so. Windy. It's cold. Oh. Oh. Back, back, back. Back, 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 back. Bernie, you're, you're losing, Bernie. Back up. Bernie. Back. Back. Good. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Good oh, pay attention. Back up. Good boy. Frosty is winning today. Oh. Trees blowing. Bernie, you keep pushing. Frosty is doing really good. There we go. Oh, there we go. Good job, boys. Oh, look at how brave. Oh, what good boys. Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh. Over here. Yeah, good job, Burns. Oh. Good boys. So now I'm bringing the boys back in. Uh, and it's the same kind of routine. I do lots of stopping and backing. Uh, even if they go a little sideways like Bernie did, that's not a big deal. Um, but I'm saying the word back. And you can see Frosty's got it pretty good. Bernie kind of gets a little sideways. But he's a bit of a sensitive soul. So he always needs a fair amount of reassuring right now. Because he is learning to get confident. While uh, Frosty's got it pretty down pat. Uh, so I'm just going to continue to do this every time I bring them in. And now I'm heading, I'm in the barn, and uh, Bernie has had kind of a, a big fear of going in and out of his stall. So I wish I would have had video from the very first time because I couldn't get him to go into the stall. So you see there's kind of that overhang, and he's, he's a big horse, so if he sticks his head up, he thinks he's going to hit um, the bar. So... My goal is to teach him to kind of learn to think. Now, I'm also on the right side, which for an off-the-track thoroughbred, it's very different because, again, I don't know if you saw in the previous videos, when we were at Finger Lakes, everybody has to stand on the left side uh, when they're walking in the shed row. So it's a little bit different for him, but I'm just going to stay here and wait. And, again, the biggest thing is for him to be able to learn to think his way through. So my goal is to teach him that he has answers for the questions that I ask him. So again, right now I'm kind of just giving him the suggestion to go into the stall. I really want him to just do this one step at a time because when he uh, would go before, he would really stand there and shake and fear and then he would bolt in the stall. So there, as he drops his head, that's really good. He's starting to really think more with his brain and he's been a very interesting horse to deal with again because he's had kind of like a high fear but it's been very internal and he just sit there and shake so trying to teach him to get confident within himself and learn to think things through so again anytime he kind of goes to reach for inside the stall I'm going to reassure him with a pat on the head and I'm going to ask him and one step at a time is really all you can ask for. And again, that reaching of the head down is huge for him because he used to just stick his head straight up the air. And he's a big boy, so 
he kind of, I think, learned that he could get away with stuff by sticking his head up. And if we can get them to start to stick their nose down and out, then you're going to get the forward thinking. Now he's kind of sticking his head across the threshold. And I'm going to ask again. And again, this is kind of essential for getting him to learn to kind of horse. <laughs> um, and to learn to get confident within himself. And I'm building a relationship already. So, uh, and Frosty did really well because Frosty's actually tied just over on the side. So there he kind of shuffled and ran in. It still wasn't as bad as he was uh, in the beginning, but kind of what he does is he'll run into his stall and go to the back corner. So I like my horses to walk in the stall nicely and then turn to me so I can take the halter off. So I'm going to send him in again, which that was better. A little quick, but I'll take it. And now I'm going to put a little pressure on him so he'll come and face me up. And again, this is kind of the beginning stages of how to teach a horse to face up kind of in the round pin. I can use it in the stall. So I'm going to put a little pressure of slapping my knee. And any time he looks towards me, I'm going to back out of the stall. So I just want him to come to me. Again, I don't like it when horses spin their butts to me or do any of that. So it's kind of a safety issue as well as uh, just starting to, to create those lines of communication. So I'm asking him to kind of come to me. And again, he has kind of the fear with that top of the stall. So he thinks he's going to hit his head. So I want to reassure him that it's okay. Give him a good rub for coming to me. And then take his halter off. So it was a good day. Uh, for Bernie and Frosty kind of learning the ins and outs of going in and out of the barn.